I'm titling this video The State of Madden 25. And the reason I'm titling that is because Madden 25 has been out for about a month and a half. And um, kind of, I feel like we've had three patches and there's not a lot of change. And so I wanted to just kind of do a video kind of recapping the meta and just kind of explaining and giving, um, I guess, just a guide, if you will, to to this game and, and, and how it plays and, and what you need to know. So if you guys want to check out our school community, that's where you get access to all my eBooks. I'm in dollar on defense right now. And then we're also going to be in, I think we're still in Colts on offense, uh, might be in bears, but we'll see. And, uh, but, but really the, the meta is basically dollar on defense or double mug. A little bit of three four odd, a little bit of six one, a little bit of three three cub, but by and large, I think dollar is the best. And then offensively, it's bunch, and it could be a bajillion different bunches. It could be bunch strong, it could be bunch, um, it could it, literally like a bajillion different bunches. Like if the if the formation has bunch in it, it's probably being a, it's probably meta. <laughs> bunch strong offset, bunch strong nasty, bunch offset, bunch. Bunch wide nasty, bunch nasty, bunch X nasty, bunch strong nasty. Literally, that's the meta. <laughs> um, it's pretty much what I've seen. Now, there is some some things that are, are starting to occur, such as, I think, split close. You're seeing some more split close. But basically, what you're also seeing this year um, is a lot more auto motion plays than we've ever seen, right? The, the new auto motions that they put into the game, the new cheap motions, those are actually being ran at a pretty high level. So that is another kind of kind of change, if you will, that we're seeing. And look at that deep half. And that is what I want to talk about. Everything is still open offensively. <laughs> look at that deep half, just swat nothing. And it gets a nice little one play score. So uh, basically, I wanted to also kind of summarize that as well. So kind of the big things like that you need to know about this game. Number one, seam streaks. If you don't have a seam streak on your field on pretty much every play, I feel like you're doing your offense a disservice. And the reason why is because seam streaks are <laughs> – I don't know that I've ever seen seam streaks this dominant from a meta perspective and very difficult to defend. Um, they're just very hard to guard. Okay, it, it, And it, a lot of different ways to guard them, but at the, the, the end of the day, they're hard to guard. So you get seam streaked. Um, the other one is aggressive catching. This is one that's not, I don't feel like a ton uh, talked about, but the aggressive catch, kind of like, kind of similar to Madden 23, but a little bit, I think, a little bit different. Madden 23 is pretty much like agging streaks. In Madden 25, just ag everything. I mean, just, just ag everything. You can ag catch pretty much everything in this game. All right, I think I'm in Chargers, actually. I'm going to be in Chargers this game. We'll try Chargers. Chargers is an up-and-coming playbook, so you will see more comp players uh, running this. This is good. It's not just for this bunch strong offset. While we and I think we we do have an ebook on the site on bunch strong offset, but it's also this bunch. They just have a lot of really good auto motion plays, and audibly and around is another thing this year that I think is really good. Is the audible round? So I'm gonna come out a bunch. I'm gonna flip it, or I'm gonna audible to trips. That is something that is really good still and probably better. It's what, What's crazy is it's like we thought it was – this is what's interesting. I feel like in general, if I can make a general statement about this game, it's, it's, a, it's a worse version of every next-gen Madden we've seen. It, it takes the worst components of every next-gen Madden that I've seen and puts them all in one game. And then we throw – and then we throw a uh, switch stick on top of that. That's pretty much what this game really is. If you, if you really boil it down to like what is actually occurring, it's pretty much that. So to me, <laughs> you know, that that's a big deal um, just in terms of how this game plays. Like yellow zones, I don't know what a yellow zone defends. It doesn't defend the seam streak. As you see right there, it doesn't defend a drag route. Like I just don't know what a yellow zone defends. So that, you know, it's like stuff like that. But uh, anyway, we'll keep going here. I'm gonna go try to hit flood. Try not to give it up. Try not to try not to get stopped here. He doesn't know about switch sticking yet, so it's gonna be a good game for us. 
honestly don't like Switch Deck. I'm going to say it. I, I haven't talked a lot about this on the channel. I actually don't think Switch Deck is good for Madden. And, and I feel like a lot of people obviously are going to disagree with that, but I just th I just can't find I cannot find a reason why Switch Deck is good for the game. Um, it rewards like I don't even know what he's doing on defense. That's the other thing. Like people are just doing the most random stuff on defense, and somehow it works. But then if you actually try to play defense, I feel like it never works. So it's just this is just a weird game, and, and it's been a weird game from the beta. Um, there was feedback. I know there was feedback given that this this game you know there's some major issues that if they don't get fixed is gonna gonna probably kind of turn some people off this game and i feel like the, they didn't really listen to that so yeah this is three three stack i i just i just have no idea what we're doing and how we're actually getting i will say the three the three down linemen sheds are they're a thing um you can get some you can get some crazy sheds in this game the thing that's weird, though, is it's, there's not a lot about this game that is consistent. That's another thing. So we thought Madden 23 was inconsistent. A lot of, a lot of players would say, you know, one of the reasons they didn't love Madden 23 was because it was fairly in, a fairly inconsistent game. Like, sometimes things would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Uh, th this game takes that to a whole other level. I mean, this is one of the most inconsistent games I've ever seen. I don't know what beats man consistently. I, I mean, it, it's a... It's a weird game in terms of that, like, consistency piece. And, you know, a lot, I'm, I already know. I already know I'm going to get this in the comments. And, and I want you to know that I've thought about this. Well, the real NFL, right? The real NFL. Let's see if I can throw this. Here's your, here's your ags. <laughs> um, the real NFL is, less, is, is, is obviously not predictable, right? But the problem is, where does that actually end? And at what point are we just letting the AI play? This is the key. At what point are we just letting the AI play versus letting or versus playing ourselves? That's the question you have to ask. Because the thing with the incons the argument that that the NFL is just an inconsistent product at the end of the day, that's because there's 11 players on the field that can literally do whatever they want to do. And somehow even in that world, there's still like pretty much consensus agreed upon things that always have. I can't believe I didn't I can't believe that. Um, but there's, there's like general, like slant flat is going to be man. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's concepts that are going to work generally speaking. Okay. Um, and so I, I just feel like the arg the whole argument of, well, the NFL is not consistent to me has never really, it's just never really been a good argument in my opinion. Let me see if we can just throw our zig for a touchdown here. Of course he got bagged. And we'll just throw right through a defender for a touchdown. I mean, you're seeing right, I mean, firsthand. This, this game is just really interesting to me. So I want to recap. So like, what are the main things about this game? The the first one is send four. So send four, um, well, I talked about seam streaks. I talked about high balls. I talked about aggressive catching. You saw all of that play in on this last drive. Uh, I talked about bunch. I talked about – and then defensively, the biggest thing is sending four. Pretty much every defense that you're going to see be meta is a send four blitz this year of some sort. Double mug is a send four. The, both of the dollar defenses pretty much are send fours. You're not going to see a lot of send five and send six, and the main reason is because you just can't hold up in coverage even for a split second. So you kind of need to be sending four. I will say there are some decent send five and send six blitzes, but they're not. I feel like the 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 pros or the the cons outweigh the pros for those because you because with this like with what I'm doing at a dollar, it's pretty like I'm just basically switch sticking, right? I'm like sitting in hard flatted cover three with a deep half to prevent bombs. And I'm just going to switch stick. And this is what I was trying to say about kind of the, I guess, my general frustration, if you will, with this game in what switch sticking has really caused. And it, it's basically like it's kind of like in Call of Duty whenever they started to make the game way more like just run around and drop shot. Right. 
I feel like that. And I haven't played Call of Duty in a long time, so it might not still be like that. But it's a sen- it was essentially like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 was when you started to see a shift. And the big shift happened in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, it was literally the way the maps were laid out. You could just basically run around and it was super like reactive. Um, I fear that this is what they want for Madden. And the reason why I don't think that's a good thing for Madden is is just because like there's not real <laughs> it's not really strategic. So I, I just have a hard time seeing the strategy in that. Whereas what Madden what, what Madden has been, you know, in the in previous years is I'm finding like good adjustments. I'm constantly putting good adjustments on the field. In this game, it's like you're putting the same adjustments on the field. You're just switch sticking and taking away 15 different routes with your user. So I feel like it, what, I, what I guess I'm trying to say is it's not as strategic and it's way more reactive or read and react. That to me is problematic um, because I just think it hurts the shelf life. Like I, I'm trying to think how, to, how I would word this, but it's you see like right there, like I, I, it's just – everything's open all the time unless you switch stick. And that's where, you know, people say, well, you, you're saying switch stick's bad for the game. I'm saying switch stick's bad for the game because switch stick is their fundamental response to the fact that defense has been incredibly difficult in every single next gen Madden. So they're like, okay, you can just use her everything, which I don't think that's a good solution because, because there's not like, there's just not a way to do, it just it just invites a ton of randomness, and I don't know that that's good for the game. I, I really don't. I don't think that's a good thing for the game. I feel like there's more randomness and less strategy. I think that's the easiest way to put it. And Switch Stick, if you guys haven't realized this, Switch Stick has pretty much killed every off-meta offense in the game. Like, what is a good off-meta offense in this game? You don't see hardly any off-meta anything. Basically, here's what you're going to see again and again and again. You're going to continue to see this. It's going to be a route combo like what I'm about to put on the field. So if they switch it to the left, then I'll throw the running back, basically. Right? My snap read is this little route. It, it, it's just kind of a – it's just a clunky way to play. It's just a clunky way to play, and there's just not a lot of, for lack of a better word, creativity. I don't think creativity is the best word, but I just, I just, I just can't get behind switch stick. And, and I, I've actually tried a lot of times to, to kind of get behind it. And I just don't like it personally. I know they're going to keep it and it's just a feature. You're just going to have to learn how to use, but I don't, I just don't, I feel like it, it just rewards bad Madden and it rewards bad adjustments. And that's, I guess my, my core issue with it is, is that right there or that it, I don't feel like you have to really know like knowledge is not as like knowledge is important for blitzes and pass protections and things of that nature. But I feel like the part of Madden that I thought was the most creative to me was um, the part of Madden that I thought was the most creative was uh, the, the uh, labbing of coverage adjustments. I thought you could like basically like, I don't care who you are. You could dial up some really cool coverage adjustments, and I just don't see that anymore. I see, I see, basically just switch ticking, you know, and 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 so you're so the way so what that leads to is you're designing a coverage with switch ticking in mind, and so it's more or less just simply de- designing coverages that that won't mess up your switch stick, and to me that's. I don't know. I just don't think that's a great. I just don't think that's fun. But that's my opinion. So I'm gonna leave switch stick alone. I do think like switch stick. I want to say this: defense is better with switch stick, generally speaking. But I don't think that it fixed defense. And I think all of the core issues with defense that have existed for the last three, four years since they went to next gen are still here. And most of it is related to the movement system, which. In college football 25, you don't see that as big of a as big of an issue. I think movement in college football 25 is a lot better. So, so that being said, those are some of my thoughts on kind of the the switch stickification of Madden, which we're going to continue to see be a shift, right? 
Um, so I just think conceptually, I don't love Switch Stick because I feel like I feel like you're not seeing very creative coverages. They're just switch sticking and taking it away themselves consistently. And to me, it's it, it's gonna get like. I think in the long run, it's going to be more like a Call of Duty. Instead of having strategic positioning, now it's going to be, well, I'm just a better drop shotter than you, or I can just react better than you, and I, I th I'm concerned about that. So I'm going to leave that there. I've kind of picked on Switch Stick enough. But I wanted to also talk about some of the other things you're seeing. So so offensively, it's, it's basically like bunch. Um, it's pretty much any kind of bunch. Bunch strong offset, bunch strong nasty, um, bunch – Bunch offset, regular gun bunch, bunch wide nasty, um, bunch X nasty. You know, I mean, there's like seven or eight different variations of bunch formation speaking wise that you can run. And I've actually I'm actually curious what you guys think about this. But I'm honestly kind of starting to become curious as to why bunch is just better than everything else. And I don't think any longer it's the routes. It used to be that it was the combination of pass protection and routes, but with the new hot route mechanic, it pretty much gave you know every formation, if you will, a way to put a corner route and a post on the field. So why is, why is it that pretty much every good player is going to run bunch? I'm not exactly sure I know the answer to that now. Um, I don't think it's familiar. From, I, at first I thought maybe – Maybe it's familiarity, but I don't think that's what it is. So I'm just I'm just curious what you guys think. Why is Bunch pretty much the clear cut best offense in the game? Um, these auto motion plays are really good. A lot of people, a lot of comp players have changed playbooks so that they can have more auto motion in their offense. Because I don't think Colts has. I don't know if it even has an auto motion play, and I know it doesn't have a great auto motion plays. But seam streaks, seam streaks. Um, one of the real under oh, – I forgot to talk about fumbles. I don't know why I'm not playing on conservative. Fumbles are are um, kind of an issue. Not an issue, um, but essentially the way this game plays, you really don't want to – you don't want to not play on conservative because there's not really a good ball carrier move. And so you're going to – basically just do what I did <laughs> where you you try to do a ball carry move but because there's no good ball very carrier moves then you just end up fumbling the ball so <laughs> you don't want to do that of course um let's try to go cover two on this right side I'm trying to just take away the seam streaks I literally feel like defense is switch sticking taking away the seam streaks and send four blitzes that's pretty much it there's not like a big run meta like there's nothing there's no reason um, – let me actually man this guy up. That's kind of bad D. There you go. Good D. Um, we have two middle thirds on the field, and we call that good defense because we switched it. I didn't actually switch it to the route, but we'll take it. But, again, like in summary, like I'm trying to just think through all the things that I want to talk about with this game. The biggest thing is seam streaks and trying to stop that. One of the cool things that I'm going to do another video on, I got to actually, I'm going to be doing some really cool videos coming up, kind of explaining some parallels between what's going on in Madden and in, in the NFL. Madden pretty much has, with a little bit of an exception, but generally speaking, a lot of the things that you see in Madden have actually started to come into the NFL. So Madden, in my opinion, was a little bit ahead of the curb. One of the things being um, kind of more multiplicity defensively, having basically different you know coverages, but they look the same uh, pre-snap. This is just fantastic. I love the new special teams. And then also uh, the, the idea of two high safeties, and we're going to talk about that. Because this is one of the biggest weaknesses of double mug is it's kind of hard to run with a two high safety look. And two high safeties is, is really, really important from a coverage perspective. So I just think with switch stick, it's, it's literally your, your, your basic goal defensively is if I can prevent a, 
if I can present prevent a a seam streak and a flat route, I feel really good about my defense. Like I feel really good. So that's why pretty much everything that I'm going to do defensively is to try to combat seam streaks and uh, like underneath routes, like drags, flat routes, those kind of things. And the reason that's such a big deal, uh, in my opinion, is because I'm going to force you to throw the corner route, which I'm going to switch stick to. Like, that's the idea. And to me, that's that's consistent defense. We saw Fancy put on a clinic of switch stick in the tournament that he won, and I really believe that he, he wasn't doing a ton of crazy stuff adjustment-wise. Um, he was actually, I'm pretty sure, especially because Astro, I would consider Astro to be like a top five offensive player in the world. And Astro was struggling to move the ball on offense against Fancy. And I think in his interview, Fancy said, yeah, I was pretty much doing like fairly basic defense. Um, and the reason that I was able to do that is because of switch stick. So switch stick is a lot about just essentially read and react and literally being essentially all over the field in two places at once to a degree. And I just I just don't I don't see how it's good for the game other than the fact that it it does make defense better in a game where there's not good defense. I I get that. But there's not like the way you pass, it's it, it really has changed passing forever. Um you're running a lot more like almost I'm trying to think. I think I can throw that actually. I'm going to overthrow. Will Levis throws, overthrows everything, by the way. I'm trying to think how I would word it, but it, it kind of effectively comes down to switch sticking kind of changes how you have to design your combos because you have to anticipate. Like, basically, what your combos need to do is they need to anticipate a switch stick. So then you, like, let's say, for example, one of the, I'll show you one of my favorite plays. Um, this truly is like one of the best plays in the game, and I think this is one of the reasons why bunch is is really good, because you can just you can just attack every area of the field relatively quickly. But if we take a look at this bunch, uh, this bunch play, so this is corner strike, and basically what we're gonna do here is we have this combo, we have this combo here to the left. Now, he's not showing pressure, so I can go ahead and put a table route out here. But effectively what I have here is I have a seam streak, which is my first read. Then I have a high low to the corner. If he switch six to that high low, then I have a high low over the middle between the tight end and the drag. So I'm looking seam streak, not there. He doesn't switch stick to the corner, so we just take our touchdown. But like it's 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 kind of that, which I will say I do think offensively it makes it so that you have to be more uh, effective with your combos. But I just think it rewards bad defense, and fundamentally I don't like that. So, anyways, that is some of my thoughts on the state of Madden 25.